for the train show because my club is the Ogage one which is in that room back there If anyone knows what airline these seats are from, please tell me. They have a lot of United Airlines seats. We're gonna go into the 747. This is one of the windiest airports in California. Did you know that? We're gonna go into the 747 Tiger which was actually donated by United Airlines with their seats to this aviation museum. We'll be going up there shortly. This museum is a must visit if you have a layover at San Francisco International Airport for six hours or more. If you look, that's the inside. Let's go inside. This was filmed during COVID time, so I did not know that we were able to go in there or not. down again these creepy steps you have this Cessna here and then this other plane which I think is a oh, I just tripped over that I think that's an aerial commander yeah it is if you want to watch this please pause the video And up here you have a visiting center. This is like a booth here where you can see the planes. Taxiway here. There's actually one landing. I have another video here, departing and landing from there.
visit the main exhibit. Oh, I just noticed another plane is about to land. Well, we can't stand here forever, so... At the end of the video, I'll be back here, so... The gift shop will be also at the end of the video, but this will be at the very end. Of subscribe for more. There's a Cessna just now landing. We'll see that one land and then... The next one will be... Control tower is right there. Here's the building right there. Wind sucks. That's November two two three Lima Papa. Very good restaurant in the terminal there. It's called Sky Kitchen. Makes the biggest burgers I've ever seen, but they're good. And it's usually empty there during COVID, before COVID too. So it's a good place to go. And then here you could mimic a plane landing at San Francisco Airport. Windy conditions, they land here. Most of the time I land on these things. And then Aviana, that plane that crashed. It's coming in too low. Alright, hit here and it swerved right here. And I was sitting in my pool when this plane flew over our house and approached. So I saw it. So this is the flying tigers. This plane, you used to be able to go in there due to high touch areas. We're not allowed to go in there. But if you probably have never touched the outside of a window on a 747, this is how it. Oh, there's a fuel truck. Is this the inside of it? Oh, it's bad. It's horrible. Yeah, it's pretty nice in there. But I can't see a. Find a clear window. And the lights are da out in there, so. Stands on these. Push. So I ever wonder how to open a door on a 747? Well, you push and push, and then. Oh my gosh! They never locked it. They never locked the flying tiger. Like I have been, I'm on a Turkish Airlines flight. I got to open the door. It just. Push that. I don't want to open it, but I have to tell them. <sighs> so maybe after COVID, I'll come back to this museum. Oh, this is the nose cone, the weather thing. And like if you're standing, if you're seated in this seat. Oh, I should have known. You're seated in the front seat area here. You're actually seated in front of the cockpit see the cockpit is right there and that's under seat seven and so the weather here the weather radar here is carbon fiber so engines right sure here die real life never come come here so this is just real one Tornadoes that happen here in California. Dust tornadoes. Let's go back in here. Train show coming. So if you look here, all our the pre Patreons and the rest restoration shop, which actually has 
engines and United TWA US Air old logos. These seats here, I think they're Economy on United or Pan Am Clipper. So they're, they don't have a good seat recline, so let's do a demo and the seat. Oh yeah, they actually, these are Economy probably. See? They recline pretty good. See amenities? Yeah, channel, switch them. And the restroom. So if you're a member here, you get a free for members the ticket for the flight sim zone for half an hour. It's open from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. on the weekends. Tickets required. Then these are United, pre United first class, I think. Like literally, if you think about it, seats are just movable. And I might get them. So this is my train club here. I own the Amtrak. Screws on this track. Let's go upstairs. So this is where the flight sim zone is. And my friend Diesel Doocy, uh shout out to him. Thanks, Diesel Doocy. Um, there's elevator videos. Let's do a... Worry about him at later. So this is seat A, I don't know, but row, maybe one, row one. So they have no seat recline at all. This is a bad first class seat. There's more there. And here, here. Free departure track. No tray table, probably. Yeah, it probably is in here and it's food. The museum closed this in an hour. So, we're not gonna go down there. The video would get too long. And Wi Fi here is pretty slow. Back to Diesel Juicy. He loves elevator videos. So, I'm not gonna go in the elevator because it has really special needs, but look. Look at this. This is great spacious elevator. Yeah, yeah. It's here. The elevator. So let's go back. This is the flight sim zone. On the other side you have helicopters. And a pillar for her. All of these nice and then this wingspan from all the way there to all the way there with this unmanned aircraft is actually bigger than a 747. Another bigger one up above. So I think these are all replicas, except for one of them that united there. We'll get to that one shortly. There's another one you can pause for. Another one you can pause for. I think this museum has like, okay, so that's the unmanned aircraft there, which is wingspan more than a 747. Actually, I ran the wingspan of a 747 today and it's long. So here we come to our United in 1971. It was part of the hijacking of United Flight 1796. You want to pause? Do so. 
I drew that line right there. We're not gonna fly on that one. It's the cockpit. So I'm gonna touch where the hijacker sat. All the electronics, cockpit door, where is the in? cockpit seat, all the overhead panel, seatbelt, seatbelt is, where is it? It's below, it's the one below the exit sign, so it's that one right there, no smoking. That blue one, which is my friends, and they keep texting down here or there. You have here? Right now, here, the airport, right there. San Carlos Round. So they're talking to that plane that is right now, somewhere in that area, there. Attention all aircraft passengers, weather information is available on all flight service frequencies. A vast initial contact, you have information in India. San Francisco Tower. Two FBI alternative 3025, contact Carlos Tower, 118.6. Keep the 1012 up. San Francisco is horrible quality. These are the arrivals. We are right there at that dot. That's the airport. And then we are right there. My house is somewhere where the Microsoft store is. Actually here, right here. So if we look out, we saw that one take off a few minutes ago. And then that one. That one. Oh yeah, the weather station is right there. Now let's play this game, which I can't play. There we go. This game. Okay, I'm all serious. So you're supposed to guide them. To fly around. You can turn on the volume. That was a bit too loud. We have a United. Swallow. Southwest. One. One, 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 zero, one. Look at this noise. Is. Very loud. I'm not sure if 
It's like you're telling the plane what to do. So we're gonna turn it into that. Okay, can you stop at this? Turning on. I'm not playing this game. You have the evacuation plan. See? You have utility information, electrical power loss, and the fire smoke. Bomb threat, which probably, because there is an airport right out there, and it's an aviation museum. And there is earthquake because th this airport is on the San Andreas Fault. Drop the cover. Everyone knows that. Hold on. First aid. So yeah, th that's basically something illegal. We're not gonna touch the lights. I don't wanna mess with the lights. I think I just turned them off. Scary, I'm scared. Let's go down the stairwell. Somewhere at a farmer's market, there's a rain called like that. They're probably famous here in Silicon Valley. So we're right now... Uh, we're right there. So we're right... And then the hangar door... Oh yeah, I'd never do this, but there is, this is a hangar. So that, right there. And then the drone ex drone plates is there. Eventually, lobby's around the corner. Airplane gallery. We're gonna do this. We've been in this already in the gift shop. We're gonna go back in there at the end and then back up there. Plane spotting. So, the train layout's here. My train layout's here. So, let's go. So, this is. I don't know what this is, but. I'm just turning some notches. 24,000 feet. So this is the flight level, I think. Oh no, this is the frequency. United 1548 contact frequency 119.8. Okay, contacting one nine or nine or point eight. One one nine or point eight sorry. So everything is closed now because of the high touch COVID nineteen virus. We have a vending machine here actually that looks like a plane. I don't like that one. We have a flight simulator here. Oh and this one's right in the engine housing of the hijack seven thirty seven. So you open an engine by doing this, or this, which is stuff, that stuff, so that's where it is right there. No, no, our emergency exit, but yeah, so this is filmed exactly a week before Easter. Also closed the plane area. The model here. So if you want to join in. Solar Aviation Museum camp. Here it is. So here is my favorite one. The one with an Apple computer inside. So it's a ship plane. As you can see, it's not the best plane aerodynamically, but it's fine. So like, let's go first here. This is my favorite thing here. They have a Google Street you free flight okay let's go to my favorite ranch or my favorite tv show which is maybe some of your guys too 
This right here is the Ponderosa Ranch from Bonanza. And you see on that big screen. Oh my gosh, it feels like we're actually falling from the sky. Right here. So, this is the monitor. It is that building. So that's where the gift shops are and everything. That building right there. That's why they don't have 3D building prints, but that would be cool. Some of the pictures are filmed from this angle on the Ponderosa Ranch, which is that long building there. Now you have like Tahoe, which is pretty great, right? Like you have a farm right next to Lake Tahoe, and you can see California. And this is how we have future droning over Lake Tahoe in three seconds. This is from somewhere in this area of Lake Tahoe. We're gonna go way to the south. South Lake Tahoe, California Airport. This is what I kind of call drones. I'm gonna fly over the whole Tahoe area. About three seconds. So we're now at I don't know. Oh wait, we're here. Incline Village, Ponderosa. It's right there. We can land on Lake Tahoe. I don't know how deep Lake Tahoe is, so I think it's pretty deep, but like, it's also pretty long. Oh, the state line is right there. So we're gonna fly back to our house. Okay, so we're gonna search something. So we're gonna go where I have Google Street View. I have a Google Street View. the town I live in, Woodside, and then I live somewhere there, near that lake, yeah, and then you have the Slap Nash, the horse park actually, keep my horse, really cute there, they have farms, and I'm trying to find my home, oh my gosh, it's right there, in that long building, and then you have pictures here, oh wait, no, we moved it, but this is from this year, we moved it. So this, is, this is in this stop. The creepy thing about Google Street View is, guess what? Now I can be as tall as I am, looking inside a building. So let's go. I can un kind of identify this car. I think this is a Tesla or Jaguar. That's a Tesla. So like, it's kind of crazy that you're as tall as a car. Okay, let's go where I put street view. Okay, whatever. So this is my house right there in the course and let's go here. Get some hand sanitizer and then let's see this plane. Here's the information about it. Let's go open the door. They sadly cut it, I think. Did they cut it? No, they didn't. But you can close it. So this is a plane here. Open. I never thought about it, but if you get right, and this is a very comfy airplane actually, like latches, window, the wing view on this plane, la di da di da, and then in the very front, a Life magazine. I don't know where the Apple computer was, but it looks like an RV in here, kind of. They also have phones and everything, except for a laboratory, which is. Look, RVs have, but they do, but they don't have like really big tail. It's about 
size 757, the tail. I'm gonna walk with that. Now we're gonna scroll down again. So this is a helicopter which can turn. The video. So I played this game before. Uh, the funny thing about this plane here in the back looks like a ship, right? But without a propeller down here. Rain drain. I love the colors on it. Maybe I could buy it. Maybe I'll buy it. And you have a hook here to hook it up. Okay, so we have tail here, which is pretty big. Yeah. November, November 4-4 Romeo Delta. 70% of the world's population will live in urban areas. And, mobility and you have drones here that literally save lives. It's cool, right? Drones can do that, like in the 2021 New Year's London show. But this tail is fascinating. Like how it just goes booping down. It goes boop. And then here, just cute, like how they stitched it up. And then here, um, anniversary they put here on that date. It's feel, it's rock actually. The spacesuit is out of carbon fiber. Armstrong here. This for with the smallest rocket ever. Really hilarious. See, my height is about here. And then that rocket goes up to here. And I'm touching the top of a real rocket right now. The height of a real rocket. And then that's the real Armstrong suit from Apollo 11, I think be a replica and that was in that plane another one here i'm not that fascinated in space but i don't know why they have a license plate here for a car that legally actually has a 2021 sticker okay so that's a drone look up look up but i don't see anything because there's another plane in the way of that one i mean I don't know why they have a Mercy Merschmidt. Oh, I love this car. This could be my. This museum actually got me a driving test here. I love this car. It's pretty easy, but it can't go that fast. Then you have your gigantic fuel thing, which looks like a tiger. Taylor Aviation and things. Haven't seen any Easter eggs yet. Have you? I love this plane here. But the one that I want to buy, I don't know why, but it just, this one I like really much, but I don't know how they got it in here because like, this is hanging right next to the wing here. I'm going to remove the four flight thing. So these probably could fly stuff. I'm not sure if they can fly, but it looks like they could. The ch chooks, chooks, chooks. I don't know how to pronounce them. Those things that they put, but you know, those things on wheels. I just saw something fascinating. Oh, okay, so this is a fighter jet, okay. Remove the four flight thingies. I love those. Oxygen bottles inside here. Go up the stairs here. To find ourselves right below low wing of my favorite here my favorite i could ask them if i could go in there but they did the world thingy here they went around the world on the plane oh my gosh we have been filming for 35 minutes and it just felt like five minutes or like 10 minutes this video will give me a lot of watch hours so we have a parachute. Every time I do something in a museum, my Apple Watch tells me 
good job. You made your bell computer. Your bell helicopter. And the Wi-Fi password is helicopter. And you used to get be allowed to steer this one. Like you weren't able to be flying it, but you would be able to move the metal things here. And then yeah, they use it in Germany for police. Helicopter, huh? This one? Yeah, that one. And now you have this one, the Wright Brothers plane model. Another one there, another older one here. So if you go here somewhere, with all these motors. Mm. I want to cut this video short, maybe half. Maybe an hour, but here's one of them. Easter. Oh gee, I never saw this one because it's like super low. And I had the Easter egg hunt for this. I never saw that one right here. Yeah, this more planes. Let's fly this. The Wright Brothers. Oh, and that one. The Wright Brothers Model B. Let's fly it. Roll. Okay, let's fly down a bit. Let's land, try to land it. I, I don't even know where we're flying. So that's the outside. Okay, we're gonna fly down. We're gonna fly out. We spent in this exhibit about 20 minutes and it felt really fun. Okay, let's fly down. Down, down, down. Hold on. Do you see this? They attached it to the... Oh, that is the Lufthansa A34, A380. Music. I can't show it, so I have to sing la di da di da di da on it. So they chose different airplanes in each one. See, that's New York and the gigantic jet engine. So that's Delta Alpha. Oh yeah, they have different registrations. I remember United being like that. That I like that. But it reminds me of 9/11. So we have another one here, very old one, which I can touch. Here's some more. more information about the train club here it's only limited to the year each year um, on Saturday and Sunday of March the week before April usually before COVID it was every weekday but now it's only the weekends because it's open on the weekends till 5 um, 8 or 9 so let's go Gift shop that you're gonna show. Apply for a membership now. And sit down in one of these seats. These are comfy. I, I kind of think they're more comfy than the economy seats. On planes nowadays, they're actually better. Pan Am flight 240 to United. Oh yeah, I just noticed they have San Francisco painted ladies, and there's only three painted ladies in SF, I think, because I seen it the landmark. There was like three of them. One of my, one of the painted ladies is where my teacher lives in. Chinatown Noble Hill. Yeah. 
You have these beautiful clocks, which are very beautiful, actually. I think this clock is beautiful. It's, it's like the form of a plane. Here's the gift job model plane, which we just saw. My favorite is this one. I ended up buying it. Okay, but this one. My favorite is the one. Okay, that one. This one. I'm gonna end up buying it tomorrow. Look, you have here happy birds and everything. Also, the funny thing I've never seen before is a pilot doll from Southwest. Like that's a cute Barbie. It's overpriced here. A lot of things. Like a lot of things are overpriced here. Got the Southwest again. Got the Barbie again. Oh, this is cute. This is beautiful. But this much for just a plastic rocker? I'm not sure. imagery I could go to Google Street View and get it oh I get it I don't get it actually what is it supposed to do does it do any such yeah, I think it's supposed to be because like, it's like that and when I wear them, it looks more 3D. It looks 3D, but like, I mean, like for this quality, like having it like that, I don't want it actually. See, let me show you. See it? See the 3D now? Yeah, I don't like it at all. It's like with the bare eye, it actually hurts me. It's like you only have to walk around with those glasses and then your eyes start hurting and then you have to go. They also sell antique stuff here. Which I don't call antique a lot of things. Which I have the... I love this area here. Which they wasted some sparkling apple. Chanamberry. Then Tyler got two drugs. So Tyler was not that drunk. And Pasadena was barely drunk. And I have these signature solar aviation ones. Oops. Some shot glasses. But they're like super overpriced. Oh yeah, they're custom, but this wine glass custom. See? I think you can see it here now, solar aviation. It is marked at six dollars only, but it's cheaper than the shot glass. Actually, the shot glass is more expensive than breakable. Is that now? I answer my question. Flying Boeing seven eight seven. Flying Boeing seven eight seven. You have the guide to it. Guides to like how to fly a plane, which suspicious someone could just buy this and then walk out of the store and learn how to play a 787 and then hijack one it's very bad okay so we have more up here bags uh maps and then the, the ones that i used to like this one well i guess that was it for the museum i'm gonna leave now well, i still have to stay here for about an hour Beware of these. They're broken. What is that weird noise? Oh my gosh. That freaked me out. I used to have that and it landed on a car. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I have 